In this episode, I'm going to show you how to paint along the rubber seals on the inside of a door and frame, and I'll also give you some tips on how to clean it in case it gets dirty. Yesterday I painted this edge and also cleaned up this corner a bit. Since the door still needs to cure properly, the customer closed it in the evening and accidentally hit the seals. You can see that here if you look closely, you can tell that these seals have been touched. If I run my finger over it, I don't remove much paint, but it has definitely gotten dirty. It's a shame to leave it like that. The best practice is to check what you've painted the day after, especially if you know the door has been closed. Take a cloth with some turpentine and clean it right away. Look, now you have the seals nicely cleaned, and the door won't stick anymore. And when you open the door or window the next day, everything can continue to cure properly, so you can leave it like that from now on. This way, the seals stay nice and clean. Now, I'm going to teach you how to paint it. What you do is the following. You take some paint out of your pot each time. If you look closely at the brush, you'll see there's enough paint on it, even at the back. What you need to do is clean the back of your brush against your paint pot. This way, you have a brush that only has paint on the front and not on the back. That's what you need to do every time. I have neatly masked off my hinges. And I'm going to show you how to paint along here, provided you mask the hinges properly. You take your paint in the way I just showed you, and then you place the brush right in front. But you shouldn't pull the brush down, instead, what you're going to do is shake the brush. This way, you're effectively pushing all the bristles forward. And if you do that, you won't need to touch the rubbers. Do you see how I do that? Give a thumbs up if you appreciate these tips. And in this way, you do that whole section. Keep shaking down to the bottom, and occasionally you can also go up. And you see that you can keep the rubbers nice and clean. Once you've done that, you take the larger brush. You can now apply the paint, but you don't need to go all the way to the rubbers anymore because you've already done that. And this little part can be painted again with the small brush. You can save a lot of money if you can do the painting work yourself. So subscribe to my channel quickly so you can learn even more. In this corner, I put some painter's tape because if you have any excess paint in the corner, it can sometimes start to drip. I'm showing you this so you can do it too. Normally, I don't have any drips there, but it's a simple trick if you're not an experienced painter yet to catch any excess paint. This is what I mean. This was once done when applying the primer when they were finishing the extension. And that's when the paint started to drip. I'm going to remove this later. But you can prevent this by putting a piece of painter's tape in there. The most important thing when painting along the seals is to move with your entire forearm. If you only do it from the wrist, you won't be stable. So shake with your whole forearm. This way, you'll be much more stable and can paint it much more beautifully. It's possible that you still have some wood rot in your frame, and you'll need to solve that first. In the video that now appears in the middle, you'll learn exactly how to remove that piece of wood rot. With a handy trick, you can quickly repair the damage. Click on the video and watch it so you can learn that too. Subscribe quickly to my channel, and I'll see you in the next video about repairing wood rot.